Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do some work on this Fujitsu Siemens uh, Amilo Pro V3515. Uh, I got this from eBay, it was uh, completely working when I got it, it had no problems. But uh, yeah, something happened to it uh, while uh, coming through the post. Let me just plug in the charger and let me show you what happened to it. Okay, let's power this thing on. This is what happened to it. The packaging was uh, not 100% what it should be and of course uh, the way of shipping as in every country in this world is not uh, the best so it got smashed. It is clearly still working but uh, yeah I would say unusable although it's pretty interesting as uh, art. So yeah, uh, let me shut it down. At this point I contacted them, uh, tell them what happened, they were very nice about it, so no issues there, they are awesome. Uh, and one moment, we found uh, a way to solve this problem, I'll stop the video for a second. Ta -da. They gave me this one with uh, hopefully a working display. It is not cracked at least. Let me just uh, show you what happens when you try to power this one on. It has a charge light. But uh, yeah, this is about what you get from it. So obviously this one is faulty, but we only need the display. So it doesn't bother us at all. And uh, yeah, next I will have to open both of these, swap uh, the displays. Actually, I think I'm going to swap all of these all the top assembly because it's no point on opening up and only swapping the display itself or maybe no no because the cable runs through it anyway i have to open the base too no i will swap all of this uh, put a hard drive back in the first one because i took the hard drive from that one i needed for something else the memory i think it's still in and uh, yeah maybe upgrade the memory in the first one and that should be about it. So let's do this. I just uh, took off the covers. This is the working one with the cracked display. This is the non-working one. This has a dual core about 1.7 GHz CPU. Uh, it's a T2080 something like that. And that one has an M4040 Celeron single core. So the CPU will not be changed, this is the better one, 1.5 gigs of RAM, I will put 2 gigs in it. And uh, yeah, the batteries uh, I will test uh, after it powers on to see which uh, is uh, better and I will keep the better one in it. So yeah, for that one I don't really have a reason to to waste a lot of time on it trying to see if I can get the motherboard working again because most likely it needs a reflow and from what I know reflow only works for uh, I don't know a few months if you are lucky one year so it is totally not worth it with that crap CPU yeah it would take a quite a substan substantial amount of money to to bring it uh, to upgrade it 
actually bring it to a better level so it's not worth it but I will use it to repair this one so yeah let's go in further, uh, further. I will show you how I open everything up but in reverse because I've never opened this up and I don't want to mess things uh, up so when I put things back together I will show you where uh, all the screws are so if you need to take them apart you can use it as a guide this thing is completely torn down uh, in the process I found out that uh, this is completely unnecessary for uh, changing the display this is one of the easiest displays to change that I have ever seen but on that uh, we will talk later but I wanted to tear this down just to show you how it is done so for this uh, audio board and probably it has something to do with the modem also uh, it has a flex cable you could open this up I didn't open it and it has only one screw in this corner so let's starting uh, let's starting yeah let's start uh, putting it back together you can see the screw is in and it's tight so actually I don't know if you could see anything this is the screw so now let me just try and put uh, the motherboard back in just be careful you have to take uh, these screws out before uh, attempting to take it out from the the rest of the case and this uh, it is stick to the case so you also have to peel it and the motherboard goes in something like this it will not go in easily and it didn't really come out quite easily because it has a few things in this corner it has to to get in place let me just get out that flex over here I don't want to catch it under the motherboard and this one over here also hope you can actually see good what I'm doing here okay the motherboard is in uh, first thing two screws in this corner never over tighten this type of screws as you can strip them quite easily it was not quite in place here I had to push it a little bit you can see this what I was talking about this will never uh, stay perfect again but honestly it doesn't really matter that much you put these screws back Of course I'm uh, putting this thing back together for no uh, really good reason because it is not working and that, as I said it is not worth uh, trying to fix but if it this video helps at least one person put their uh, laptop back together it's good enough for me. This is not the proper tool to uh, screw this in, but uh, it's a little bit of a tight space, so pliers mm, almost don't fit here. Good enough. Just make sure they are uh, tight enough so you do not. Uh, undo them when you undo the connector if you insert the VGA connector here ever this for the flat flex if you never opened one they have uh, let me plug it in this uh, darker plastic and you just pull on the corners and it comes out and then you can pull the cable but we will do it now in reverse we uh, should be able to put the cable in Some, uh, sometimes it doesn't go in quite easily 
Okay, the cable is in and now we push the plastic to lock it in place. Finished. The other one, it's already open of course. Some of them, uh, I don't know, maybe it depends on the manufacturer, I haven't got a clue. Have a little lip of plastic underneath that is quite annoying and uh, you barely fit it in. But you cannot actually do anything about it. Okay, it's in place. That's about it for uh, this part. Now the motherboard has another screw, but uh, that will go in just after we put uh, the top on. Let me just get that. This is the top part. You have a few connectors here. This one. This, but they are all uh, accessible after you put it uh, in its place, so no problem. Just make sure you do not catch them underneath it. Okay, it's in place. Let's uh, screw the motherboard in. A tiny black screw. Make sure you put your screws when taking them off. You position them in about the same position like they were on this. So you have at least an idea of which uh, screw goes where. Because there are about three types of screws on this laptop. So if you get them mixed up, not quite okay. Okay, next three tiny white screws in the top part. These are uh, only ones of this type, so not really easy to mix them with uh, other ones. Okay, that's about it. Now I'm going to plug this uh, little connector from this uh, switch. Sorry for the loud noises. It's extremely hot in here and I'm uh, I'm trying to do this a little bit faster than I should. And bad things happen. Okay. These are, I think, uh, are the speakers here. The cable is a little bit longer than what it should be, I think, but uh, yeah. Cannot do anything about it. Now the touch, uh, touchpad and buttons. Another flex, and this is also pretty hard to. Uh, okay, so make sure it is really in and not just uh, on the edge because that would be pretty bad and it will not make contact, of course. But I honestly think that this one is about as far as it will ever go. We will see on the other laptop. You can see a little bit of a line here, a black one. If the line... Uh, is in about the same position on the other laptop. This is as far as this cable will ever go because I honestly can make it go further no matter what I do. Pretty weird. Okay, I was wrong. It does go further. So make sure that you cannot see the line anymore. But um, pretty bad cables on this on this laptop. I didn't have so much problems with cables on other laptops. They went easier, but yeah, nothing I can do about it, of course. So let me grab the other things. One moment. The optical drive. You just slide it with this part up. And it has 
one white screw from what I remember here. When I say white, I mean chromed, but it's easier to say white and black. Okay, uh, now we should have uh, three black screws in this holes from what I remember. Yes, I'm correct. Okay, this is about done, nothing else to do, so next let us get the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard, at least mine, weirdly enough I can find it, here it has some double side tape but just a tiny bit of it, and the rest I think it's here, so it is glued in place, when you remove it, of course the cable is attached, but I will not attach it for a second. When you remove it, you put your finger, lift it a little bit up and then really, really slowly you will hear it uh, unstick. And slowly, slowly you get, go all, all the way around, it will bend, it will be like this, because it doesn't unstick easily. Then it will uh, release and when you release it, be sure not to rip it off, because it has the cable underneath. And it's a really flexible and thin one and you will break it. But for the moment, let me put it like this. Put the cable in here. This one entered really easy. But you cannot see a damn thing. It's quite annoying to film and work at the same time sometimes, but... Okay, this is the cable. Plugged in. And I'm closing the connector. After this... On the keyboard, it has uh, these metal uh, flaps, insert them in the plastic, lay it down and it already sticks. And that's about it for the moment. Next you can put uh, the screws all around the back, these ones, up until here. Do not put in... Uh, this and the, this, these two do not put them in, they are for the hinges, also in this uh, corner, one here and one underneath. All the others around the edge you can put them in and they are of this type. Black ones longer, only one longer black type is in this laptop so you cannot uh, put them wrong. I will not do that on camera because it will take uh, too long and anyway as you can see from the way I laid them here I'm missing quite a bunch of them on this laptop and the tiny black one hope you can see it goes in here let me put it in and then I will show you where it, where it actually is but no I'm wrong I'm wrong it uh, goes in can I show you? Like this maybe. In this hole, this one doesn't have a screw, but this one has one. But it will only go there after you put uh, this in place. But where does this have a screw? Okay, here. So basically it will go in this uh, when it is like, 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 like that. And the screw goes here. But that will be done in, in a moment. I thought it, I can do it uh, now, but sadly I cannot. So I'll be back. I've switched uh, to the working laptop, because on the other one that's about uh, it. And I just want to show something. The difference in speaker size. I think they are the identical uh, model. But I think they, uh, this is a little bit later build 
and they upgraded the speakers a little bit from these tiny ones to these uh, bigger ones so that is pretty nice let's uh, continue at this point I'm going to put in the uh, working display or at least non-cracked display because I haven't see it, uh, seen this one uh, power on and I'm going to show you why I said it's so easy you just uh, slide it in place route uh, a few wires and you are done you just have to remove this cover the keyboard and the back cover for this but nothing else has to, to come out so that is pretty easy other laptops have to be completely torn apart to change this but this one no way so uh, let me put this back together as you can see one screw here for this ground wire a black one black screw if it would actually tighten it did in the end cable goes through here plugs in here somewhere okay plugged in everything is okay plug this cable and actually route it and then plug it in or I was wrong <laughs> plug it in and then route it yeah in this case it seems this is what's working plugged in and then these two cables you choose one to route first you, usually you cannot route uh, both of them at the same time and these are pretty annoying because they um, they don't want to stay where you put them ever This will, will clearly take me some time. I will just show you how I do one of them and then come back uh, when the other is done because it's quite annoying. After it's routed, you just push it to this hole in the other side. Okay, I'm going to come back when this is routed too finished uh, routing the cables the gray one has a little uh, place to go through here don't forget about it and uh, in the end I put this one on top of the ones for the Wi-Fi it seems better that way I and mean, probably it was like that but I wasn't really careful next I'm going to put in the keyboard we already did this step on the other uh, laptop but uh, yeah it needs to be done on this one also it is in place slide it in and it glues itself back together uh, it will stay down when the top part uh, comes in and speaking about that let me try and grab it real quick okay did it don't think there is anything else that I forgot actually there is um, you need to put this little cover back in through here oh I get I have quite shaky hands today you don't realize that until now and of course this thing will not want to go in place believe me 
but uh, you have to fight it all the way. Did I pull on this too much? It has the position of the display when it will go a little bit easier, but uh, not extremely easy. Okay, turn it around. Maybe you can understand now why I said uh, it has to be put in place. And this little wire has to go through here. Okay. Because uh, this thing covers it. And this one just has a, a, a ton of clips and rather strong ones. So I, or actually, yeah, sorry, idiot again. You can put it in from the top and it will go way easier. It still has strong clips, but it seems only in the front. So we are done for the moment. Turn it around. Of course, put that, uh, that little screw in. Uh, I didn't assemble the other laptop, it's still uh, in parts a little bit. And now the black wire goes in the end, the grey one is first to the left. And this also will go in pretty hard. Be very careful not to bend anything, but it uh, will take a while to put them in. Okay. Under this uh, black sticky stuff. Tape, let's not uh, call it sticky stuff. And that's about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what next. The screws here in the corners, the ones that I said uh, must be put at the end. I think this is the correct order, the one from the top and then the one from the side. But of course you can never know for sure. Maybe in a service manual it writes the correct order, but I'm not working with service manuals. So I'm just guessing. This seems to be about it. I'm going to grab a hard drive. This is the hard drive at Toshiba 80 gigs. Well, not really big, but this is what I have uh, at the moment. Let me just realize how it should go. Okay, it should go like this in the caddy. Caddy, caddy, how you pronounce it. Most likely it doesn't really matter because I don't think you are on my channel for uh, my English. But the problem is now that I have to pause the video so I can find some hard drive screws. Managed to find uh, two of them. That's a little bit uh, worse than four and uh, better than none. But, yeah, this is what I have. 
Of course, it is not really great working on hard drives with a magnetized uh, screwdriver like I am doing uh, now, but uh, the case of the hard drive is thick enough to to stop this, so there will be no problems. The only downside is uh, that you cannot get the bloody thing in. This doesn't really want to go in at all. And they are hard drive screws, but maybe there is something a little bit off with the thread in this hard drive. Probably. It worked in the end. Put them uh, diagonally if you don't have all four of them. Put the caddy in place. And that's about it. I don't think this one has uh, a way of locking in place. Most laptops uh, have a screw here or something like that. Or the screws from the cover go through the hard drive. But I don't see anything on this one. Which is pretty weird. Of course, now I realize it. This will uh, hold it in place and probably this too. So, yeah. It is good. We are good. Okay. It's in place. Let me take one black screw from here. Or actually, nope. If I'm thinking a little bit better, the screws on the back probably are white. At least these ones are all white. Nope, not good. This one not working. Let me try with the black one then. Still not good. It has to be a short one. What the actual hell? Yeah, I messed up a little bit. I'm going to try with a tiny white one and see if that goes correctly. And it did. So, yeah, not black, not white, not long, but white short. Next, upgrade the memory. I have no idea which of these two is the one gig. Okay, 512 megs. So I'm going to replace that one with, let me find it, this one gig. Come on, focus on it. Is it focused? This camera sometimes focuses only on what it wants. So we will have uh, two gigs, and from what I see, they are both uh, almost identical, so that is pretty awesome. Next, let me find the big cover. You put it from this side, like this. It should clip in place. And then you have a ton of screws on it, but let me just show you this one here and this one here are really long. Other ones are like this, tiny. So I'm going to tighten everything now. Finally put the battery in place. lock it and uh, turn it around sadly from two laptops I only have one single hinge cover so this of course a part of it is already broken so these hinge covers are really 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 bad but yeah what can I do 
And now for the final test and conclusion. Let us see if this thing actually has an image. And we are live. It would have been really bad to work on it so much and uh, have it uh, not working. So this is the memory. I think it's using some for the graphics card. 2 gigs it should be. And uh, the CPU. Oh yeah. But what the hell? Yeah. It's okay. I thought something is wrong. I'm going to tweak the BIOS a little bit and put uh, Windows Vista on this one because uh, I have a Windows Vista license, a free one. The display is okay. Just uh, the viewing angles, it seems, are not the greatest of all, but in person it looks good. Only on camera it looks uh, a bit weird. So, be back in Windows. And it's finished. It uh, didn't want to play nice with Windows Vista. So, in the end, I've searched a little bit and found uh, Windows uh, XP license installed that and uh, it's running perfectly now i see that avira it's updating it just disappeared and uh, yeah what else it was missing one of these uh, rubber uh, spacers i put one from the broken screen and the hard drive i was mistaken i thought it's 80 gigabytes it seems it's uh, 60 gigabytes but for the moment i don't have a bigger one but for Windows XP is way more than enough. Uh, of course, Windows XP really old. It should have a newer operating system, but I like to use uh, licensed operating systems. So yeah, I had Vista didn't work. Found an XP worked. That's about it. Windows 7 or higher, I don't have any at the moment. So yeah, uh, that's about it seems uh, XP is also updating uh, battery seems to be somewhere over an hour pretty good the first one I will test the second one maybe it's better maybe it's worse remains to be seen but that will probably take a few days to make sure that I test it uh, right and uh, yeah that's about it working perfectly so yeah ask anything you want in the comments subscribe yeah, Java. <laughs> no way. Uh, like the video. Check out my other videos and see you in the next one. Bye.